Every company makes mistakes and I make a lot of them. And you know, some of them puts the company in peril, especially in the beginning. Because we were small and, and we're up against very, very large companies and we're trying to invent this brand new technology. And you know, when you invent something new, uh, you have to convince customers to use it. You have to convince the ecosystem is the right thing to use. And you've got developers, you know, we're a computing company, so developers matter a lot to us. And so we're trying to invent something new and we're, we're barely, we barely know exactly what we're doing. You know, so when you're doing something that's never been done before, you're not exactly sure what you're doing. And yet, on the other hand, you have these giant companies who would like you not to disrupt the industry. And so, so early on, there, you know, there are product mistakes that we made. Uh, there were um, uh, you know, execution challenges that we had. There were some strategy mistakes that I made. And uh, you know, there, there's just so many of them. And you know, one of the skills of resilience is the ability to forget the past. You know, they, just as coaches tell you, don't worry about the last down, worry about the next down. And so, so I try to make sure that the company remembers our learnings from the mistakes. Most founders would be very satisfied being at the helm of such a huge industry with gaming graphics. What signaled to you and when that it wasn't enough? Well, our ambition was always to be a computing platform company. We selected computer graphics and video games as our first market combination, technology, market product technology, and market combination. Um, but we, we always believed that, that um, accelerated computing was going to be impactful for many, many different industries. 